Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this Realme 3 smartphone and as you can see guys this is a review and nothing is actually printed on this one. So I don't know the pricing but I've heard that Realme will be very aggressive in pricing with this Realme 3 and this comes with the Helio P70 chipset and I'm just assuming that the pricing will be less than 10,000. We'll see. I'll have the links in the description below and it says Realme over here. So we get a K and some paperwork so this is a TPU flexible case that you're getting in the box I'll keep that to the side and uh, this is the handset itself that you're getting let's just take this out and guys I'll come back to the handset a bit later let's see what else do we get and uh, 5 volt 2 amp charger so it's a regular 10 watt charger that you are getting in the box and uh, this will be the micro USB cable I'm assuming Yes, micro USB cable that we have. So that's what we have in the box. So here is the handset itself, guys. And this one is having a 6.22 inch uh, HD plus uh, screen in the 19 to 9 aspect ratio. As you can see, this also has the drop down notch design. Uh, let me give you a physical overview first, guys. And on the top, again, the build is that polycarbonate that we are seeing in most of the uh, uh, phones in this price range. So that's what it is. And top, we have actually nothing. On this end, we just have the uh, power on of button, guys, nothing else. And on the bottom, we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Uh, this will be the main microphone, uh, micro USB port that will be used for charging. And this looks like the speaker. And on this end, we have the volume rocker up and down. And even the SIM tray is over here. Let's have a look at the SIM tray. And uh, nice to see, uh, what do you say, dedicated slot for a micro SD card and two SIMs. On the back, as you can see, we have the fingerprint scanner and uh, we have this new color scheme. As you can see, it gives that gradient uh, look. And if you just move around, if you do it like this, mostly looks like black. But on this angle, as you can see, it gives a different look. So again, uh, looks nice. And let me just power this on, guys and gave me haptic feedback and by the time it actually boots up and I set it up let me give you a configuration overview. This Realme 3 is having a 6.22 inch HD plus screen in the 19 to 9 aspect ratio. It's protected by Gorilla Glass. It's powered by the new MediaTek Helio P70 chipset which is an octo-core chipset based on 12 nanometer process. It comes in 3 or 4 gigabytes of RAM and storage will be 32 or 64 gigabytes. It has dual SIM and a dedicated micro SD card slot. Moving to the camera it has a dual rear facing camera. The main camera is a 13 megapixel at f1.8 and it has a secondary camera that's a 2 megapixel for depth sensing. Moving to the front facing camera it's a 13 megapixel and it also has a fingerprint scanner and comes out of the box with Android P. So guys I've just set up this device and I also installed some apps uh, like Antutu and PUBG. I'll talk about that later and uh, this is actually coming with new color OS 6 hence as you can see we have that app tray over uh, here and uh, some third party apps were pre actually pre-installed. Let's see if we can just remove it. For example, let's say this daily hunt I don't want. If I click on this, as you can see, you can click it and it uninstalls. So there is some uh, extra apps that are installed, but as you can see, you can uninstall them. Uh, so anyways, uh, uh, this has that, uh, uh, what do you say, drop down notch uh, design. And uh, I like the fact they have implemented this fingerprint scanner on this one. And let's have a look. And I have to say the fingerprint scanner is extremely fast very very fast fingerprint scanner that we have and um, we can also use the face unlocking option on this one if you want and if you go over here uh, as you can see uh, we have that auto brightness sensor over here you can disable it enable it I'm just disabling it for now if you go over here uh, and if you go to about the phone and uh, as you can see the color OS version is 6 and out of the box it comes with Android num uh, version 9 that is Android Pie. So actually this is a nice thing coming uh, with Android Pie. So let's just go back over here and let's uh, look at the storage. How much do we get? I think so storage device storage here it says out of that 64 gigabyte we have about 43 points and guys I have installed PUBG and stuff so about 2 GB sort of views so roughly you'll get about 45.5 gigabytes of space available and internal menus are actually slightly changed but again this is closer to again color OS 5 but we have this addition of this app tray that was missing on earlier version of uh, color OS and I really like the fingerprint scanner they have made it really really fast on this one as you can see instant it's almost instant the moment you click 
it just opens up uh, and uh, again the handset is also very light uh, i thought it might have some weight considering the fact that it's having a 4230 milliamp hour battery but the handset is actually pretty light and considering that it has that mediatek uh, helio p70 soc i think so it should give good battery life uh, uh, with the combination of 4230 milliamp hour and that uh, helio p70 chipset and um, i also ran antutu guys earlier uh, to uh, gauge uh, how's the performance and as you can see we got a score of 134 uh, i ran it once more earlier also it got a score of about 135 so it's ranging between 134 and 135 on this one uh, so actually that's a pretty good score considering if this uh, device is priced under rupees 10,000 then it will be a good thing and i also played pubg uh, again i'll try to do a dedicated video if you guys want regarding the gaming later on but uh, now let's also quickly look at the camera on this one because uh, the realme team was saying that the camera is improved it also has something like chroma boost and stuff and uh, if you fired up the camera let's see this is the interface again if you notice the this interface hasn't changed a lot you have that 1x and 2x still it's a digital but again as you can see it's doing a good job even when i zoom in and take the picture no shutter lag uh, and uh, let's bring some objects nearby <coughs> for example like this we have the portrait mode and you can click on that move further away i think that this will do much better uh, with human subjects so i'll take some sample shots later on guys to give you an idea about that one and uh, if we click here as you can see we also have this nightscape i was not expecting this nightscape and also it's ai enabled as you can see it says green plant or whatever so auto ai dis detection is there and nightscape is there this will be interesting again nightscape is used in very low lighting conditions here we have a lot of lighting but yeah and we also have the panorama mode and also it has something known as uh, chroma boost so uh, automatically when you take pictures it will have better contrast dynamic range and stuff uh, so it's a lot of ai stuff that they are implementing behind the scene uh, thanks to that helio p70 soc and again these are the options that you have auto hdr and stuff ai uh, as you can see uh, recognition but if you want you can disable those options and also let's have a look at the front facing camera uh, it's a 13 megapixel and this is also ai enabled as you can see beauty mode is there I'll just remove it. I'll just keep it on natural for now. And it detects your face as you can see automatically. So we have those options and uh, let's just go back here. And we also have the portrait mode even for this, uh, what do you say, front facing camera. So let me do one thing guys. Let me actually take some sample shots with this one so that you get a better idea regarding the camera performance. Here are the camera samples taken in outdoor lighting conditions. And as you can see in outdoor lighting conditions, it does a very good job. I took some close up shots also. And as you can see, it did a very good job. The thing that I liked is the color reproduction is very natural and the colors actually look very natural as you can see from these sample shots. Now moving to human subjects, I feel the color reproduction again and the skin tones are very well produced on this one. And we also have this bokeh portrait mode. These were taken in that bokeh portrait uh, mode uh, with the rear facing camera. Sometimes it can get aggressive as you can see, uh, but for the most part, it's doing a good job. These were taken in artificial lighting conditions with the rear facing camera. And even in artificial lighting conditions, I was surprised that the quality that came out was actually really good. And these are portrait bokeh shots uh, in artificial lighting. Sometimes it can get a little bit aggressive but overall considering the price point it is decent and these were shot with the front facing 13 megapixel camera and again as you can see the 13 megapixel front facing camera is also actually pretty sharp and these were in bokeh portrait mode i feel with the front facing camera bokeh mode is actually hyper aggressive and these were taken in artificial lighting conditions and i was surprised that even in artificial lighting conditions the pictures came out to be actually sharp and here i enabled the portrait bokeh mode with the front facing camera so guys, that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this Realme 3 smartphone. So what do you guys think about uh, this one? Do let me know in the YouTube comment section below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.